everyone. I'm Artie from the Okanagan Regional Library, and I am here to do a fun experiment with you um, in creating a new kind of paint. So this is scratch and sniff paint. And what you will need is Jello. I have three kinds. I've got blue, yellow, and red, because with those primary colors, you can create any color in the rainbow. You're going to need glue, just white glue. Um, You'll need a tablespoon and a teaspoon. So I went uh, to my, my utensil drawer and I just got a big tablespoon and a regular teaspoon there and I used that. Um, but maybe you've got the correct cooking utensils and so that's cool. You're gonna need a paintbrush and you're going to need a white crayon and a white piece of paper. Or it can be any color of paper if you want, to be honest. I'm choosing white. And then you'll need some kind of container to put the um, what's going to become the glue into. Okay, so I've got this little um, painter's easel thing that I'm using, but it could be yogurt containers, it could be glass jars, anything like that. Um, and so I'm actually going to just put this up so that you can see everything that you'll need. And you can see the ingredients there. One, you're going to need one teaspoon of water, one tablespoon of white glue, and three quarters of a teaspoon of jello. Okay? Okay. So let's pretend that I did this. I went and I grabbed my teaspoon and I poured three quarters of a teaspoon of jello into here. So I filled it not to the top, I just filled it um, almost full, but not quite. And then I put it into my little container here. Let's pull this down so you can see it. And then I took my glue and I poured my glue into, we're all pretending here, poured it into here and I dumped it in on top of the, um, on top of the jello mix. And then I took my teaspoon and I filled it with water and I dumped that water on top of everything and then I mixed it all together and I got my colors. And as you can see, I have my colors here. I did the rainbow. I've got red, purple, well it should be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, if we're doing it in order of how the rainbow goes. Then I took my white crayon, so oh, I mixed everything together. I took my white crayon and on here, on the white piece of paper, I drew whatever design I wanted. Now I drew, you can't see it, but I drew a rainbow. Okay, so let's see if this works. We're gonna paint a rainbow. What's our first color in the rainbow? red. That's right. So I'm painting it where I drew my first white line. And look at that. That is pretty cool. Now the white crayon, the purpose of the white crayon is to help the colors from staying, um, from bleeding all over the place. So it keeps the colors kind of within some, some good boundaries. There's our red. Okay, I am going to just clean my paintbrush here. There we go. So I can go on to the next color, which was the next color in a rainbow? Orange, that's right. So I'm gonna grab my orange here and it smells so cool. Now the orange doesn't smell like orange because the orange is a mix of berry and lemon. You see the little clumps there? There's still, there are little bits of clumps of, um, of jello mix in there. I'm not sure how that will affect anything, but this is a fun experiment. So if you're, if you're wanting to make scratch and sniff pictures, um, cards, anything like that, this might be a cool thing to do. Okay, clean that. And what's the next color in the rainbow? Yellow. Yes. Grab our yellow. Ooh, we've got lots of yellow here. Here comes our yellow. Now this is thick. Wow, look at that. That uh, is super cool. So not only will it be, um, not only will it be smelling good, but it's also going to have texture. So if you know people who like texture, 
they really might enjoy this. Okay, clean my paintbrush. Next color after yellow is what? Yes, it's green. So I'm gonna grab my, my green right over here. Let's see, there's my green. Beautiful colors. And look at that. So how did I make green? I don't have green jello. Well, I mixed yellow and blue and it made this cool green. And of course, the more yellow you put into the mix, the more uh, yellowy your green will be. The more blue you put into your, your mix, the more of a bluey green it will be. Oh, my water is getting so, <laughs> so, um, what is it, jello-y and, and uh, gluey. Okay, so after green, next color of the rainbow is blue. Good job. Oh, I love this. This is gorgeous. Man. And it smells delicious. Oops. Okay, so my little barriers didn't work there because I just dripped onto the wrong place there. So we'll just make that a little bit bigger. There we go. And the last color of the rainbow. What is it? It is purple. Good job. Okay, so in purple, how do you make purple? You mix red and blue together. And we get this gorgeous purple. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Not only is this a beautiful rainbow, but it's a beautiful rainbow that smells delicious. Oops, see how I just made a mess there? That's okay. I'll just I'll just make my purple really big. There we go. And there you have it. That's how you make scratch and sniff um, paint. And there's my rainbow. Now it has to dry. And then when it's dried with all that thick, thick texture, it's going to smell so good. So if you want the recipe again, just look down in the bottom and you can, uh, you can check and see how that scratch and sniff paint is made. Okay, have a great day. Thank you.